So what's in these glasses first? Uh, sand dried tomatoes. These are the ones you've done yourself? Yes. How difficult was it? Uh, not difficult. Lots of these actually turn black. They oxidize, so I throw them out. And you just left these out into our sun? Yes, for five days. For five days? Yeah. At night you have to put them back in the... In I the don't house. want to eat them because it's, it's, it's such so much work. And then they I go down his... That's why they're so expensive. Yeah. And we'll make them in olive oil. So what are you going to do today with them? Today we blanch them for five minutes in uh, water and uh, half a cup of apple vinegar. So... One liter of water. No more cold water. Yes, you bring to boil, then you add half a cup apple cider vinegar. Go on, do, do it. Sirce. 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 No, sirce. Sirce. <laughs> sirce. Now I know why they're so expensive. But they look really nice. From uh, two kilos you get about 200 grams. 200 grams from two kilos? Yeah. Wow. And were these just normal tomatoes or cherry tomatoes? or? Cherry tomatoes. All cherries. Because we don't want to. We don't know what to do with them for winter. So. You're a creative girl, aren't you? Yeah, I've seen this one Italiano guy doing it, and I love it. And it's good on a bread, or you can make pasta with it. Nice. But you have to boil them in the vinegar to preserve them for longer. Half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Citra. Citra. Yes. Citra. I got that right. There's the bubbling water. And this is, you said, to blanch them. Yeah, pet minuta. Mm -hmm. You were getting annoyed at one point though, weren't you? Because some of them turned black. Yeah, I threw them out. Maybe they haven't been healthy in the first place. Uh -huh. So how, how long did they sit in here, did you say? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Five minutes. Eight minutes is up. So skin down. Tam says that's the better way to do it. So we'll take these to my office because it's, I think, a better environment, yeah? No, they should dry for a few hours and then we'll finish them off. Okay. In olive oil, spices. There we go, somewhere safe, away from the flight. In David's office. How cool. Are you happy with this? I think I overboiled them. Uh, five minutes is okay if you're using Roma tomatoes or um, pellet. But next okay. time I'll just blanch them for a few seconds and that's it. Now it's time to put these guys in a jar. Do they look dry enough? Yeah, I think they are. Okay. This is my first time making this. So don't judge me. So, daska. So what's the procedure then? You layer it now. So a layer of dried tomato. Malo dried tomato, malo spices, and then again, and then we forgot the main thing. The main ingredient. I hope I have enough. Carapelli oil. Extra virgin. Let's start. I have two different kinds. These are more skinny. So I'm going to mix them up. How many jars can we make from all this? <laughs> Not many, trust me. But we make different flavors. This is garlic. Garlic now. Mm -hmm. Bay leaf? Near basil. Basil. 
Sí, no more tomatoes. So it's layer upon layer. Mother, you do however you want. Mm -hmm. Smells really nice here actually. They should taste. Hey, Madaya. Bay leaf. Bay leaf. My favorite spice. One of my favorite spices. Okay, it's my little garlic. You know I like garlic. Live on garlic. This is a lot of work, but it's worth it. You see, they taste amazing. Turtle, I think. And now, let's go. Now we fill it up with the olive oil. You have to cover it. So, you have to cover it. Gotta get all the hair out. Looks good. 
stuff, isn't it? Look at the bubbles coming out. That's it. Ta-da! After drying for five days, we got this. Sun dried tomatoes in olive oil. Yay! You happy? My head liked it. I'm very happy. After five days, we got this. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs>